we are at our final game in charge of Huddersfield. And would you believe me if I told you we have a chance, a small chance, of overtaking Birmingham. But before we get into that, we've got four fixtures to review since the last time we met. The first of which was a 1-0 away win against Bournemouth. It was a tough game, this. Um, they are fighting, well, they were fighting for their lives. I think they're safe now um, from relegation. But Damien Mallard got a goal in the 34th minute to give us the three points. Then we absolutely smashed Aston Villa. Terence Platt, Alice Dvorak, Andres Pitra and Damien with four goals in the first 30 minutes. And that's how things finished. We then went away from home against Watford and smashed them as well. Heffern and Holland with a brace, Fabio Luis, Terence and Ikaro with the five goals. To beat, beat any side 5-0 away from home in the Premier League is absolutely brilliant. And then finally, a little more of a tight affair was a 1-0 home win against Southampton. Damien getting the only goal in the 20th minute. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We are fourth. We are five points away from Norwich in fifth. So even though it's not confirmed in the league yet, I think we're getting Champions League qualification. We'll just have to wait and see how that all wraps up and finishes up with the other cup competitions going on. Um, but Champions League football for Huddersfield will be absolutely fantastic. We are already, we've already overtaken Barnsley in terms of point scoring. Birmingham City finished on fifth, uh, 75 points. We are on 72 with one game remaining, so we could match them in terms of points. The next qualifier is goal difference or is a position? It's got to be goal difference. It seems a more fair way of doing it. They have finished on a plus 29 goal difference, where Huddersfield are on plus 28. So if we beat Manchester United 1 0 today away from home, we will have matched Birmingham exactly, pretty much. Um, if we can beat them any better than that, I think I'm going to give it to Huddersfield. So that brings us to today's game, where the past four games or so we have been playing a slightly changed system. Fabio Luis is the shadow striker in behind uh, Mallard instead of being an advanced playmaker. And it seems to un have unlocked our attacking creativity throughout the side, which is nice to see. Now, Manchester United are, of course, no mugs. We did beat them in the reverse fixture at home. Uh, they're currently sitting, I think it's 7th or 8th position in the league, so a disappointing season for them. But they've definitely got some real, real quality in the squad. Still got the likes of David here, Zaniolo, Martinez, Marcus Rashford, Longley, uh, Victor Lindelof. They've still got a fantastic, fantastic side. Uh, they signed him as well. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty, pretty tasty. £83 million. So, got a lot of work to do. Um, if we win, obviously... We're happy with this season, whichever way it comes. We're going to qualify for European competitions one way or another. And getting 72 points with the newly promoted side is absolutely fantastic. But can we go that one step further and match or beat Birmingham City? First highlight of the game comes one minute in and we are in an advanced position. Icaro whips the ball in, Platt gets his head on it. It was never really troubling the goalkeeper that. Free kick for Manchester United. It's played in. Aaron Nixon gets his head and clears, but Martinez is the first to the ball. Manchester United bring it forward. The playing lot. Oh man, the playing Martinez in 13 minutes in, and they go one 0 up with his 16th goal of the season. It was Jonathan Let Inc. Lentink, whatever his name is. It was a great pass in the centre of midfield, finding the open space between our defence and um, our centre halves and our wing backs. And Adamir can't keep him out at his near post. Another highlight now, 16 minutes in. Man United again on the ball. Hopefully we can pinch it and pounce on the counter. But it doesn't look like it is going to go that way right now. Rashford brings the ball down the left-hand side. Cuts in and goes for goal and goes wide. 25 minutes gone and Man United do really seem on top of this game. Which isn't great for us. Letnick plays a long lay on the left-hand side. The ball's whipped in. Fabian is back post. And he should be putting Manchester United 2-0 up there. Oh, corner for us. Icaro plays it in. It's cleared. Well, it's genuinely been about an hour since I started this game. Things just keep coming up. We are still getting beat 1-0. And Martinez is through on goal. And I nearly almost wished I didn't return. Right, these things aren't working right now against Manchester United. Um, we are going to revert back to the sort of system we were playing uh, earlier in the season. Not that I think it's better. I think it just might be a little bit more suited to playing against the likes of Manchester United at home and against teams we're not necessarily expected to beat. As we have another highlight, 36 minutes in, it's Rashford on the ball in the box, finds Martinez, good save by Adamir, 
keeps us in the game. We need a winter day, unfortunately. <laughs> That's the top and bottom of it. We do need a win if we had to match Birmingham City's point total. Otherwise, we are coming in second in our own leaderboard. I'd say if you look at the match stats, we've been completely dominated so far in this first half. Um, we'll need to step it up in the second and hopefully the change in tactic will do that. But we'll kick back off for the second half. No need for any changes just yet. We have our pretty much our strongest first 11 out there already. Um, and there's no one I really feel that desperate to bring on. Highlight now. Mallard heads it down to Pitra. Um, what's happening here then? Are we going to form a counter-attack and opportunity? Fumier plays it ideally on the left-hand side. They've got plenty of men back. Uh, free kick. Is that a free kick? Didn't look like a foul. You're absolutely right, game. He's got a red card. <laughs> Shotgun two-foot challenge, apparently. Now it's time we went very attacking. Um, I'm going for this. I know very attacking leaves us open to all sorts of things. But we need a win today, not a draw. Um, De Gea holds that one quite easily. Icaro spreads the ball out to the right-hand side for Terence. Come on, Terence. He's brought down by Longley. Please, score this penalty. It's going to be Dvorak. I still haven't looked at my penalty takers. How many episodes has it been? Maybe four since he missed his first. Come on, Dvorak. Please bury this. Do not miss. He steps up. He buries it. We need one more. Should we go? I think we're going to go attacking. Um, Manchester United have obviously still got fantastic players. So they could very easily get on the counter, even with 10 men. So um, we're going to skip this. Come on, lads. One more. Highlight. 23 minutes to go. Come on. Get another goal. Icaro. Oh, he's dispossessed by Martinez. He's been causing us all sorts of problems all game. And now he spreads it through to Abraham, who's in behind. Good save by Adam here. We're looking to get some fresh legs on now. Um, Terence can come off. We'll bring on Vrabek on that right-hand side. We'll put him as a winger. Fumier can come off. We've got Stankovic on the bench ready and waiting to go. And Dearly can come off as well. We've got Angel Dulce. Our wing-backs are very much a good part of our attack and setup. So getting them with fresh legs should hopefully, hopefully, we're going very attacking again. Uh, lead to something positive, maybe. Come on, let's get creative, lads. Highlight now, it's another one for Man United. Senga's under, gives the ball away. Fabio Luis, ah, oh, he needed to win that. Zaniolo now picks it up in the centre of midfield, feeds it through to Martinez. It's a blocked shot. Unfortunately for us, every single loose ball's just fallen to them. Lindelof to Abraham. <laughs> what a save by Adam here. Fantastic. Seven minutes on the clock. Can we pinch this ball and do something? Not with Rashford bursting past our players like that. But maybe like this. Adam here. Play it out nicely. Please retain possession. We don't. We give it away. Rashford knocks it through to Abraham. Zaniolo now. They're still bombing forward Man United. Like they want the win as well. Martinez gets past Dvorak. Zaniolo. Adam here. He's, he's trying his best. Bless him. Um, he's keeping us in this game. But at 1-1. Um, we're not really creating any opportunities ourselves as Bastoni goes close from the corner. Another highlight now. Again, Man United on the attack. Abraham, it's cleared. Lautaro Martinez, that was not a highlight. This well might be. Fabio Luis drives forward through the centre. Come on, Fabio. Come on, son. Oh, he hits it straight out to here. That was the opportunity. Only a few minutes left. There's not a lot we can do from this point. We've just got to sit and watch. Pitra, Fabio Luis. Oh, again, two opportunities. Oh, there's another one. Please be for us. Ah, oh, it's, it's going to be Man United. Under. Plays at Lindelof on the right-hand side. Adam here. You deserve an absolute knighthood for this game, my friend. You've done fantastic work between the sticks. Our attacking players have sort of let us down, though. I, don't, I thought it was going to be another penalty. The highlight does continue, though, with uh, a Manchester United throw in. Lindelof plays it in. Martinez is back post. He's not. He's, he's offside. He's offside. <laughs> we're giving ourselves every... We're riding our luck. We're giving ourselves every opportunity. Come on. No. It's not going to be. We are not going to match Birmingham City's point total. We are going to fall to 73 points for the season, which is absolutely phenomenal for a newly promoted side. So we were just this close. We we're this close to matching them. And there's the final league table of the season. Uh we're qualified for the Europa League. Oh, it's Napoli. Chelsea in the final of the Europa League. Chelsea are currently sitting in 8th position. If they win, they pinch Huddersfield's Champions League players. Oh, come on, Napoli, please. I'll play on until we get our end-of-season stuff. We'll find out 
exactly what Huddersfield, the European competition Huddersfield are going to be in next season um, and then we'll resign. But not until I need to know what is happening in this Europa League final. So we're at our end of season awards and stuff. The, the strongest first 11 doesn't really contain any of the boys that we are consistently playing apart from Luke Daly. Luke Daly is still in there. He's looking fantastic as well, by the way. He's improved massively over the course of this season. End of season awards. Icaro wins player of the season. Very much very well deserved. He's been absolutely fantastic in that defensive midfield position. And as you can see, he's quickly turned into a world-class defensive midfielder, in my opinion. Fantastic, fantastic player. Damien comes in second. Stankbo comes in third. Damien gets the uh, goal of the season, a car row signing and young player of the season. Let's say the goal. So it wasn't a victory against Manchester United earlier in the season. Not, not something we saw live. Mallard picks up the ball in the centre of the park, drives forward through the midfield and the defence. And that is a tidy, tidy finish. Well worthy of goal of the season. Well, looks like the board are trying to uh, implement a club culture now that we're leaving. Um, they haven't really been to bother about that whilst we've been manager but of course i just accept it because i'm not going to be here um come next season Icaro has won an english footballer of the year award as i said he has been absolutely fan fa fantastic players player and players young player he's absolutely clean sweep across the board the best player in the league <laughs> now would be the point where i would discuss the squad and look to resign but i need to know i need to know what's happening Looks like they're getting a hefty uh, transfer budget for next season. They're building a new stadium, which is fantastic news. Bought upgrade youth and training facilities. And we've been granted a new youth category rating. So we've definitely set up Huddersfield to be a very, very successful side um, post us leaving. I think in terms of the quality of the squad that we're leaving, I think Huddersfield is going to be the best. I think it's, we've assembled the best squad we've ever assembled in the Premier League between the three sides. Um, obviously not quite getting there in terms of the point total but the young players the amount of top quality that is actually in this side is a little bit ridiculous and um, you've got the likes of Dvorak, Ikaro, um, Damien who are all going to be top top quality players if not world class players um, in the years to come along with a lot of players who are not too far behind them as well so but we'll discuss the squad shortly just to show you what sort of squad we're leaving with Huddersfield but we still don't know <laughs> if they're getting Champions League football. When is this Europa League? It is 26th of May. It's a week's time, so I'm going to get to that point and I'll see you there. Oh my God, I need to resign now. Leeds have an opening in the Championship. They have not been promoted. I don't think... No, they haven't. Of course, they finished outside the playoffs. I need to resign from Huddersfield now and apply for that job. I'll keep an eye, though. We'll, we'll, we'll review the squad. We'll review the squad. That's what we'll do. So, I want to show you... The sort of quality we are leaving behind and how they've developed over the course of a season so of course we've got Icaro we've already seen him potentially world class if not already there um, a really really fantastic deep line playmaker in the defensive midfield worth 31 million he is fantastic Fabio Luis of course I mean look at him he probably should be a striker really but he's playing in the attack midfield role for now he's just phenomenal 24 million pound signing Again, we're leaving them with some absolute gems. Damien is the exact same. He's developed quite nicely over the course of the season. 20 goals in his first season in 36 games. is not quite Kaichi Goto level, but he's getting there. And he's obviously worth a hell of a lot more. Currently wanted by Chelsea, by Leverkusen, Atletico Madrid. And Aston Villa, who I'm sure... Oh no, they avoided relegation. That's why they're interested as well. John Heffen and Holland, one of the signs I was umming and ahhing about is how good it would be. 14 goals and 37 games from that left wing spot. Fantastic. English as well. Happy with him. Not quite the same sort of level as the previous three, but he's 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 quite good as well. Aaron Nixon, of course, was a new sign. And we didn't see too much uh, game time out of him as he did pick up an injury. But in the games he played, seven games, a 7.44 average rating. He is going to be a gem. Alongside Alex Dvorak. They have got their two centre-halves sorted for eternity <laughs> if they can keep them locked down to contracts alongside the likes of where is he Juan Carlos Rossell is a backup alongside um Machiado who's another backup all wonder kids all fantastic Terence Platt I complained about him a lot uh, he is rapidly improved and he does look great going by his attributes and he did have a much better second half of the season rise in his average rating from a 6.67 to a 6.8 um, again, maybe the system wasn't necessarily 
uh, too good for him in terms of how we played, but attribute wise, he's absolutely phenomenal. Just a few more players I'm going to highlight. Andres Pitra, he's not quite going to be world class the same way I think Akaro is going to be, but he's not that far off. He's improved massively over the course of this season. Of course, we've been playing him in the box to box midfielder role. It suits his attributes down to the ground, and with maybe one year more of good quality training, consistent play on time, he's going to be great as well. Uh, Adamir, the goalkeeper as well, not quite Jakob level, which I thought he was going to be, but not too far off. He only conceded 32 goals in 33 games in the Premier League. Uh, under a goal a game for any any side in the Premier League is a good goal, and so hopefully he will continue to improve at Huddersfield. And the final one I really want to talk about is Luke Daly. He's been our boy since we first joined. One of the main reasons why I was really interested in joining Huddersfield and yeah he has done brilliant brilliant stuff for us in the championship and in the Premier League and I couldn't leave without quickly talking about Alexi. His development has been stunted this season not getting quite as much game time. If he becomes available for a reasonable fee I would mind signing him in the championship but um, Alexi, you did special things for me last season. Not so much this season but you hold a dear place in my heart. And that is where we are going to leave Huddersfield Town. We are resigning. Our contract was running out anyway. Um, we consistently refused to sign a new deal. And that is going to be that. It looks like a few people have left. Bartek, uh, the Polish lad, the assistant manager, he's left every time I've uh, resigned from a club. And I hope to be able to take him with us to hopefully Leeds United. We are going to declare interest. And we are going to apply for the Leeds United job. Obviously just missing out on the playoff places this season. Um, and hopefully they will be interested in acquiring my services. I'm going to continue on and see what happens in the uh, Europa League final. Let's see if Huddersfield do get Champions League football or not. We'll be there shortly. So the European final has been played. And Huddersfield and Manchester City. Man City must have won the Champions League. Um, which is a little bit surprising considering they finished in fifth. Yeah, they beat Barcelona in extra time. And Huddersfield have Champions League football. So Chelsea must have been beat by Napoli in the final. They did. That is absolutely fantastic news. There's two clubs now we have left that have now got Champions League football for the next season. Absolutely fantastic. We still have not an interview or any sort of recollection that we've applied for the Leeds job, but we are the leading candidate now. So hopefully next episode you'll find out if we got it or not. So there is the leaderboard updated. Three teams, three really successful seasons. I'm happy with how every single one of them has went. Just unfortunate we couldn't quite catch Birmingham in this one. Maybe next time. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you're looking forward to whoever the next club is, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.